That's awesome. You are so cool. Especially just now, watching your percussion performance, it reminds me about one old saying that a real lady is usually preferring the good music. Tonight, in the NCPA, there will be an online performance about a percussion concert. And these two gentlemen will bring us some classical music or some newly created music. Those are going to be very excellent percussion performances. And Professor Lee, we know that you have always been dedicated to the percussion development in China. And you have a lot of students. For example, Mr. Liu Heng is one of your students. Today, I would love to be your student. Could you please teach me about percussion? Give us a lecture and lead us together into this extraordinary world of percussion music. Percussion is one of the oldest musical instruments. There were no arhu or stringed music. They adopted some raw materials from the nature, for example, the stones or the wood to knock. Our ancestors use the skin of animals and that make it a drum. Drum could be the earliest musical sound, and it's commonly used in a battle. Since Song Dynasty, there was some record about it. And in the royal society, the drum represents the status. Usually, we could also see some other hitting musical instruments. For example, the allegro. Our ancestors know the scientific way of making the music of percussion. So it could be said as one of the oldest musical instruments. And by now, it's still developing. No one could say how many musical instruments there are, be it the drum, the chime, or allegro. It's one type of music that could give out our rhythm. For example, in front of us, we could see marimba and uh, viper harp. Those could both perform the normal rhyme and rhythm. They could also perform the chord. So it has about 100 years of history. But for those drums, some of those drums they just play right now could not give out the rhythm. So there are two types. One is the rhythm-based, the other is no rhythm-based musical instruments. In the 1970s, percussion developed very rapidly, unprecedented in the past 100 years. There are some solo performer, the musical troupe of percussion music. In the history of the symphony, in the small musical theater, there was some indoor music. There was no drum and no trumpet, just some string musical instruments gathered together for the performance. And then the Turkish people expanded their battle and bring the big drums to Europe through the horses. And then with the mechanical skater, they could give out some music. That was rarely seen, and it was remained in Europe. So the Turkish people brought many percussion music to Europe. And many percussion music come from our daily lives. And then with the improvement of civilizations, they go beyond our daily lives. That's how we are appreciating such beautiful percussion works. Just now, Mr. Liu, when you were performing, what's on your mind? And what's the significance of percussion music to you? I learned percussion music for so long. And such an experience is one medium for me to get to know music and the history of music. I finally fell in love with music. So it's a particularly good medium for me. And just now we were performing a work. It was specially created for this concert. And the majority of them were impromptu created. 
So for us, every impromptu performance brought us different experience and ideas. That's the fun of music. And since we performed on the drums, drums represent power. And the origin of drums is from China. If we trace back to the history of drums, it could be dated back to about 7,000 years ago. It was recorded in the Battle of Zhulu, saying that they heard about 500 different drum beats in the battlefield. And because of the morale created by the drum beats, they win the battle. And Mr. Wei Ran, you are very familiar about the history of Chinese percussion music. What has the Chinese percussion music brought you? Chinese percussion music has a profound background. As you said, it has a long-standing history with various musical instruments. It, it, it is indeed a big family of instruments, and we can get in touch with a lot of musical instruments when we are learning percussion music. So today, we have a first-hand experience about the development of percussion music. From Mr. Li to the two young performers, we could see that our percussion music has been carried forward and innovated all the way. So it keeps its involvement and development. Mr. Li, since we are all your students today, could you confer to us some knowledge about percussion? Since you just now talked about the percussion instruments in ancient China, some of the percussion musical instruments are already presented to us, even about how to make the musical instruments. For example, the ancient Chinese ancestors created the gong. They hit the gong. In the beginning, the gong didn't give out any sound. But how to make it sounding? They need a gentleman who take a big hammer and it hit once that gong sounded. So there was an idiom in China about setting the tune with one beat of the gong. So even a lot of those idioms have something to do with the music. Another great musician, Tchaikovsky, tried to express a sad feeling in one of his works through those percussion musical instruments. Speaking of that, even I am a layman, I have noticed that in more of those orchestra teams in the West, they adopt some of Chinese percussion music instruments. That is a manifestation of the integrated culture, and that's also the result of wisdom. Speaking of integration of uh, culture from the East and the West, today's theme of the concert is relevant. And Mr. Liu Heng, you're not just going to be the performer of today's concert. You're also one of the key planners of the concert. You were also part of uh, the design and arrangement of many performances today. So why do you name today's concert Dongcheng Xijiu? That was the result of our negotiation with the NCPA. We thought about how to prepare a concert to present the Chinese and the Western music together on one same stage. Tia Zola from Argentina created a famous work called Free Tango. And it was adapted by another performer, and Professor Li Biao joined to readapt this work. And we created another work called For Adam. And this is the premiere of this work. It will allow four performers to work together. They use different instruments through some very fancy skills and the change of positions. They could create such a clapping of different atoms and the integration of those different elements. So this is going to be your premiere, yes. And we also have another work called A Sky Full of Stars. And that's a 10 duet. That work reminds me about 
the overlapping of stars because of gravity. And those works are quite relevant to today's theme. Our generation, as the students of Mr. Li Biao, work together, even including some of our students. So there are three generations working together on this concert. And the music is like those stars. It gathers us together, and we are all the little stars, taking the lead of the other smaller stars, trying to create the best performance. So for the audience, be it the big stars or the small stars, the sky full of stars represent the booming of percussion music in the future. That's what we are expecting. And Mr. Wei Ran, what's your role in this concert? I create a work called uh, Mr. Ba taking a bath. I think it's a very traditional Chinese piece of work. Yes, it comes from the two ethnicity from Hunan province. It's a folk music. The local families create such a music as a ritual, and it's usually performed in some key ceremonies. For example, their weddings, they will perform this work to express their happiness. And every time I listen to this music, I could see something in front of my eyes, just like really seeing um, this bird taking a bath by the river and shaking its feathers. So percussion music could help us to depict the sceneries and animals in the nature. There are a lot of those famous percussion works to express the movements of animals. That's very vivid. So in percussion music, it takes in the traditional Chinese percussion music and the newly created international percussion music. So the theme of today's concert is really awesome. It combines the West and the East. How about we give it a try? Mr. Li Biao, could you please teach me to hit a little bit? How about we start from this instrument? It's called marimba. I'm a newbie. Me too. Speaking of marimba, it's like a keyboard instrument. It looks very modern, but where did it come from? It came from Africa. It's called marimbula in the beginning. The Africans took several wooden panels in the festivals. Those wooden panels have different depths, and then they use the wooden stick to hit on the panels. And then that traditional performance gave out no influence until it was transmitted to Mexico. Many Africans went to Mexico, and the local Mexicans amended those wooden panels, giving it a better sound. So now, through Mexican and the US amendment, right now, the marimba has been developed into one of the most commonplace solo musical instruments of percussion music. And if you look at the keys, it's just like the piano. This is the pentatonic scale, the five-tone scale. Just like all the other stringed music and orchestra music, you can give it a try. Start from this. So this is the end of the first lesson. If we have some musical background, you can learn faster and you can give out more beautiful music. As you said, many people start from zero. And that's the charm of percussion music. You can get on easily with the music, even as a newbie, and it can also serve as a supplement to the other musical instruments. For a composer, if you have to consider the difference of the different musical scales, you may have to consider how to use various percussion music so as to make the band more diversified. It's just like cooking. You put in some pepper and salt, 
or some other seasonings. It's the same. Now, the percussion music is like our favorite seasoning for composers. But I'm really curious, Mr. Li. This instrument looks quite similar to the others. Let's move forward to have a closer look. This is electric instrument. It's different from a rimba, and it's made of aluminum. It's metal, so we call it the aluminum instrument. And uh, it can give out very lingering sound. Why? Because it is made of a pedal. And there are more about it, more beautiful sounds. That's why it's called fiber harp. The vibra can sustain, and it's very beautiful. And that's the charm of percussion. They have different sounds. Some linger on, and some are sharp and clear. So these are the Western instruments. Now let's go back to those familiar ones. But still, I cannot tell the difference. This is traditional percussion instruments, Mr. Wei Ran. Take a golden gong from Beijing. It's called Jing Luo in Chinese pronunciation. I've seen it in Peking Opera. Yes, in the opera music, you could see it. Now let's listen. Now I can imagine the Peking Opera on the stage with the sound. Those are all the gongs. Is that the gong that uh, gives birth to the idiom of setting the tone with one beat of the gong? Not actually. Those are the small gongs. The bigger the gong is, the harder it is to give out a sound. It gives out a lower voice compared to the former one. There are different uh, sounds. It's called the low tiger sound because it sounds like the sound of the tiger. And it's a very meaningful sound. They have different sizes, but they perform quite similar. Mr. Lee just mentioned several folk music. For example, the sound of the duck quacking. <laughs> that sound is about the duck flapping the wings and also about it swimming, paddling against the water. This is about the duck tickling. I believe many viewers are intrigued and to this concert will give birth to a lot more lovers of percussion music. Mr. Liu can explain. Mr. Liu is an expert about the relationship of the percussion music and the body giving out the percussion sound. Of course, our body can perform percussion, for example, clapping. That's the simplest. There is no rhythm when we usually clap, but we can, of course, give out the rhythm with the clapping of hands. And your body can give out some other sound, for example, your belly. They have different sounds, and if you combine all of the sounds, you can give out various rhythms. That's magical. And that's the delicacy about body and the percussion music. 
I do look forward to the faster development of the body percussion music. Then we don't have to bring any instruments when we perform on the stage. Of course, percussion music is developing rather faster. Despite of the body percussion music development. And what do you think is going to be the future of percussion music? How big can we think? I do want to thank the NCPA for giving a big opportunity to this percussion music during the festival. It really helps percussion music to be better carried on in China, and that endeavor will benefit the descendants. The historical development of percussion music has witnessed the leapfrogging development of it in the last 40 years, and in the next four decades there will be more representative performance like Mr. Liu Heng. And I'm very optimistic about its future. Yes, we do look forward to the future, and we can cultivate more stars of tomorrow. According to my knowledge, the Percussion Music Festival was created in 2010 by the NCPA, and this is the fifth year. I remember that in the first festival, you brought your band to give a very memorable concert. It was magnificent. You blazed a new trail for the percussion music in China. The transmission and sustainable innovation is the common direction of all percussionists and the NCPA. Let's give our best wishes to the business of percussion. We hope it a more prosperous future and more happiness and excellence brought to our lives by percussion music. And now, let's enjoy this international performance with rhythm and rhyme.
Thank you. 